Hello, hello, I'm back at it again, your boy is back. Problem is, is that I keep making videos like this because it's too convenient, because the audio file is extremely small compared to like a video file, and I can just put Batman gameplay over it, and then I can add images in order to add context to my speech, and later on when I'm a bit more sober, and uh, well, I am sober right now, but I'm kind of like in the sleep drunk mode when I don't have enough sleep because it's 2 a.m. in the morning, and I just had this thought in my mind, which sounds kind of stupid, because... Oh, it is it is stupid, let me be real with you, but... The mind, the thought has polluted my mind, like, ever since I've talked about it in my other video. And that is, is it more realistic to become a millionaire, or to go to space? Well, let's weigh it out. It's a millionaire. You have to have a business. You have to understand entrepreneurship. You have to understand... Well, it depends on what, what you are selling. You could be selling a product or service. You have to, you know, have to know what you're selling. You have to sell it to a lot of people. You have to appropriately price your product service. You have to market. You have to have staff, perhaps as well. Not too much staff. You know, a lot of millionaires have a small, like you know, small group of staff that you know deal with a large majority of things. So it's a small, a small group of competent staff. I remember Top G himself. You guys know who fucking Top G is. I don't need to explain it. Top G himself, when his leaked courses, he said. You don't need a large team of people that do fucking nothing. You need people, employees, that complete two objectives. One, selling. Two, saving you time. And when you have a small, compact team like this, you can become a millionaire because it's a small amount of people. You can afford to pay them a lot more. You can afford to save so much more time, make more so much money with them. You know what I'm saying? That sell staff or like, like something big like HR department or all this bullshit like what Twitter was doing. With the fucking, you know, all the all that stuff. Look, bro, Elon cut all that stuff, and they're still fucking okay. Like, I could go on Twitter, I could scroll for hours. There's content for years to come. You know what I'm saying, guys? Twitter is the same, in my opinion. It's a bit more unhinged. It's a lot more unhinged. Like, you could say a lot more fucked up shit now. But, like, it's the same. I, nobody keeps, like, what the fuck? All these moderators moderating, pushing a left west or leftist agenda, and making no money as a result. Like, Twitter's making so much more money now with the Gronk and the streaming and all this bullshit. It's not bullshit. It's fucking it's legitimate business. But, that yeah, you know what I'm saying, guys. Like, you have a product, you have a service, and then you uh, you, tr you try to increase your product, increase your service. You have a small group of staff. You sell, 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 sell. Make so much money. You could liquidize your company. You could sell your company. You could you have assets. You could buy assets. You could liquidize your assets. You know what I'm saying? It's much... It sounds a lot... It sounds very complicated, but I, I trust me. When you're there... It is not fucking complicated. Like, it is just like, okay, you're a millionaire. Boom. Well, perhaps not that simple. To correct myself, but like, it's certainly more simple than the fucking going to space. Right? Because there's one option. There's two options when you go to space. To measure out. Either you go on Elon's, you know, experimental trip, which is not even fucking out yet. He'd probably be dead by the time it's like, we're going launch. Or he'd be like, very old. And it'd be extremely expensive. Cost millions. So you have to become a millionaire, you have to, you have to do well, step one, um, although like the first option, become a millionaire, and then you can go to space. That's all I fucked up, right? Oh no. Elon's already 50. Just put that out there. He looks very good and very young for his age, maybe the South African genes. But like, yeah, he's 50, bro. Yeah, he's got 30 more years in the tank. 80, you know, why, I don't know why people, like, they fucking, they struggle to reach 80, they can be extremely old and dilapidated, but Elon's aged extremely well, and I'm, I, I'm, I really want him to focus on his, you know, his physical well-being before anything happens, you know, it was weird, I saw Elon Musk with, um, a, with a, on a podcast, or like, type saying, with like a Twitter type saying, with Top G himself, and I just realized, like, Top G's, bro, he's like 36, Elon's 50, like, Elon is his senior, by far. Like, fuck. Like, there's levels to this game. Like, you know, bro, Top G himself, previously a millionaire, now a billionaire. Other millionaires in the call as well. Uh, bro, going to space is the next level. Like, there's always another... Here's his, his a profound, perhaps black pillish, perhaps, like, you know, reality pillish. I don't know, what the, all, these, all these stupid buzzwords. Like, here's a profound uh, truth. Like, there's always going to be a guy better than you. And if you do reach the top, it's extremely fucking lonely. Like, how lonely, like, bro, what, what does Elon say, like, about his his Tesla business, about his rocket ship business? It's like eating, like, for his, his words, a billion, a multi-billionaire's words, like, it's like eating shards of glass and look, staring down a black hole. Because when you have such an ambitious dream, like, 
yeah, yeah, you'll be better than everyone else. But your dream, your personal goal, your personal achievement, like, it's not there yet. It's not satisfied. The itch has not been scratched. Going to space, you'll need an acute understanding of physics, acute understanding of, you know, engineering, mechanical engineering, rocket engineering, rocket science. And rocket science encompasses a majority, uh, ma not majority, um, what's that word again? A multitude of things that are extremely complex. You know, every, everyone talks about Elon's knowledge. Uh, most smart people talk about Elon's breadth of knowledge. Breadth, I don't want to say it properly, but it's like he just knows a lot of stuff. You have to know a lot of stuff over a short period of time as well. Why? Because when you learn it in school, it drags on for years. You know, you have a whole year, you can relax, you can chill, and you, know, you can play Fortnite, and you come home and play Apex Legends, you can play Fortnite and Warframe, and you can just grind the new World of Warcraft or some dumb shit, and you still have time to study for your exam. No, no, no there's no exam. There's no exam in, in real world rocket science. Going to fucking space, bro. The the, the exam is gonna be the, you shooting a rocket up in the in the sky. You fail the exam, you lose millions of dollars. You fail the exam, your rocket doesn't fucking go to, into the sky. You succeed, you go to the sky. You get out of the sky, even you go to space. One simple action It's like that Chinese. I don't know that Chinese animation. It was a Chinese, but like this fucking this guy. He like he drew himself, like going in a rocket, going to space. It took a fucking lifetime to get there. Just like an astronaut. Think about fucking going to, going to by yourself. I mean, realistically, you would build on Elon's infrastructure if, you know, you get to know Elon. I'm probably not that difficult. There's probably a person that knows a person that knows a person that knows a person. You can fucking network market your way up. You know, you can introduce yourself. Hey, I'm, I'm really inspired. I'm not inspired. I'm really, like, you know, ambitious and I made a lot of money and, you know, I don't know. You really present your, your best foot forward every single fucking time. You never fail to deliver. You always push, push, push. You work extremely hard. And after 10 years, you can find the right person of, the, of this person, this person, this person. Else. And yeah, 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 I know Elon. Oh, wow. Fucking amazing. Exactly what I was waiting for. Finally. You meet Elon. And then he fucking, he, he's oh, so old. And then he dies and you take over his company. That, that's, that's a realistic uh, fucking uh, possibility. And you work until you fucking get old. And then you have to fucking find a protege as well. And then like you, may, you might not even get to space. You might go to space for like a test trip. We're not fuck, you're certainly not going to Mars or some dumb, like, fucking, not even dumb shit. Like some crazy shit like that. Holy fuck. There's always, there's always another level that he's just his, putting. His, like, the whole, it isn't just become a millionaire or like, or like... Uh, go to rocket space, or like, oh wow, becoming a millionaire is going it's so realistic, bro. Fucking, if you compare it like, to the masses, and realism is is only like on, it's only based on perspective. You compare it to like everyone else who's fucking lazy and fat, and you know, you, you know, like in, the, in that black pillish ideology, or like, oh these subhuman sub five, these idiots, uh, mentally challenged, like that, that, bro. Fuck off with that shit. Like I do not believe these individuals are mentally challenged. You say that. You look down on them, but when you call them mentally challenged, or you call them a retard, or you call them subhuman, you call them ugly, you call them this, you reduce their potential by so fucking much. When you say these degrading things, you fucking asshole. The black, black, black pillars, they are, they are all like depressed assholes. They're all assholes, and I've been there, bro. I've, I've been down in the pits. This is just next level. You know what I'm saying? It isn't just like. It is much more realistic to come in there than it is to go to space. It is l less realistic to come in there than it is to get a fucking normal job. But let's measure up the two. And let's keep measuring up the two. The two that of going to space, becoming a millionaire, getting a job, becoming a millionaire. If you, if you guys are following me here. Because to get a job, you have to have a good resume. It takes fucking one hour. Get a good resume, go on Canva. You can get a good resume with a good image. Take a good image. You know, maybe you're in a shape. Wear a good suit. Take a good image. You don't even have to wear the entire fucking suit. You wear the top of the suit. A shirt and a blazer. Maybe a tie if you're feeling fucking fancy. <sighs> Blank background. Smile. you got a good smile. It looks maxing maybe. It doesn't take that much effort. Just like, it's, it's like with all of this shit, it looks maxing everything. It doesn't even take much effort. You just do the good habits for like fucking 10 minutes a day, every single day. Work out hour, two hours a day, every single day. We're gonna fucking year, boom, you see results, like, big deal, big whoop, everyone else on the fucking planet has done it. 
like if you when you reach a certain point, it feels like everyone on the planet's fucking done it because like literally, it, it, it the baseline for this shit is so low because the because the baseline to become great, to become glorious, like like, like Loki says, to have glorious purpose is like it's much much fucking higher. It is it, and it continues to grow and grow and grow and grow and grow to ridiculous ridiculous amounts. I remember when, it's a weird weird um, tangent, but like I remember when Mike Tyson was like considered like like a like a like a, like a um, you know like a like a boogeyman, like a like an extraterrestrial creature. You know what I'm saying? But then you grow up, you realize like obviously there's levels to boxing, there's insane levels to boxing. He's world champion at 20, undisputed champion 22, 21, I, I believe. I don't remember exactly. It's fucking insanity. But like you you become a boxer. You go down to the raw fundamentals. He has a great fucking jab. He has great pendulum footwork. He has great pendulum head head movement. He can really. Uh, he studies fucking sports. He studies gladiator films. He's not just a boogeyman. He's a complex, like deep character who spent a lifetime trying to do this shit. He's been bullied. He's been taunted. He was full of testosterone when he was young. When he was thirteen, he was looking like a fucking grown ass man. And there's 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 so much substance to things, you know what I'm saying, guys. You lose your potential when you have all these dumb buzzwords that are shot at you. And it's and it's not just a not telling you not to you re- re- reduce your potential. It's not just a ground reality that becoming a millionaire is po- very very possible. It's very plausible. It's not just to like put it out there that going to fucking space is insane. The message of this video, in my in my like you know my ramblings of a fucking eighteen year old. If you can't ex- extract knowledge from this, then you're a fucking G. If you can't, and you think I'm yapping, then get the fuck off my video. I don't care. But like the, the underlying message of this, that I'm gonna tell you right now, is that there's always a fucking next level. There's always a next level. After space. After after Elon's fifteenth protege reaches Mars, okay, now let's get back, get the fucking work, build the civilization there. There's always more work to do. There's always the next level. Like, there's other two ways you can you can take this. Oh yeah, I'm gonna relax then. There's the next level. Okay, you know what? It's a good idea to just relax, take things slow, and you know. Whatever. And the other one is like, I need to fucking work harder, so I can reach that next level and then push beyond. Oh, fuck being broke. I need to get money. I need to get out. Okay, I got all money now. Oh, fuck this small business. I'm not making enough money. I want a nice car. I want a nice apartment in Dubai, in you in the uh, thing UK, in Hong Kong, in USA. Fuck it, New York. I want a nice apartment in New York. Imagine the people I can meet in New York. That'd be crazy for if I got a YouTube channel. That'd be crazy for my YouTube. That'd be crazy for business networking. That'd be crazy for acting. That'd be crazy for anything. It fucking anything. I seen a guitar, I seen a really good guitar player. I, that be, the best violinist in the world lives in New York, I believe. I don't know, that's uh, outdated information. I remember when he played on. If you guys know this, you know, weird buzz information that's fucking spewing out of my brain. The best musician, one of the best musicians, the best violin, violinist in the world, who had a million quid, a million dollar violin. He played violin in like a train train subway station. Uh, like a peak rush hour. No one gave him attention. He got like uh, like twenty dollars, playing for hours. <sighs> Always the next level, guys. Always the fucking next level. Like, like. Shit, I thought I wasn't recording for a second. I was going to tweet. I was like, oh my god. I just spewed out my soul and I wasn't recording. Because my phone turned off. Oh, fucking hell. I'm tired. That exam has been on my, my mind for a while. It just, it's just been. And making these... I'm running out of Batman content to fucking put my voice over. I'm reusing Batman content now. This is fucked. But, yeah, I'm putting it down on more Batman fucking stealth gameplay. I thought we should change it to like... Other gameplay, I'm not sure. Mm, I don't want it, like, I don't want it to be like that, but, yeah, fuck it. I'm going to edit, crop up the other video as well. 
Oh, oh my entire body and back hurts, and I have so much content. When I make videos like these, the reason why I have an uncut channel, I can just get content out quickly, but for the actual good juice videos, I still haven't finished my one of my like one of my channels. I just make fucking like I don't think you guys will find it. Your minds got you guys might find it later on. I might tell you guys later on, but because it's just my fucking channel, uncut channel, so no one cares. But like, um, I have a channel called oh fuck I don't know I'm not going to tell you the name it doesn't matter anyway like you guys you guys you might see in time but maybe I just like up, I re-upload free purpose of podcast clips like you know Top G First Man uh, you know uh, you know HS Tiki Toki like anyone like, you know any, anyone like with fucking intention add gameplay add text go crazy Upload, upload, and edit, 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 and I still haven't finished my project yet. My project was fucking incredibly ambitious. Just the shorts you see in your feed, like if you see like a content creator with like a thousand videos, two thousand videos, that's like that must be fucking grinding for a while. Like, oh, Jesus Christ, like fuck, dude. You know what I'm saying, guys? So I, what I would like to personally do for myself is just get back to the grind. I need the money from it. I really do. For I need, I need to build a good PC so I can continue editing. Got the CPU, got the PC case, the, got the RAM coming, but I don't have um, the rest of the parts, motherboard, and everything. Uh, I could, I, it's not too much, but I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to overclock because I don't think I don't believe in overclocking for the PC. I don't know why I said that. It's just, it's just out there. Fuck it. But yeah, I just need, I need a better PC. My, my PC fucking GPU crashes. It's fucking up my workflow. I, I had to, I have to stack. Um, my monitor some books because it's way too low and when I have my monitor low like it literally I don't, uh, in the I, I'm starting to use a browser called sidekick and Alex human says in the like in the first, the first like browser it short it, he literally says like if you have a low monitor and you're looking low slow down like you become more tired and I've noticed that since I've done this I feel more awake I feel more alert because I'm looking straight ahead instead of down you know I don't feel I don't feel as tired anymore which is very liberating for me yeah, fuck, fuck, bro. Work, work every day. Work, 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 work. After I'm done with this project, I have another project which my I want to be for my my own channel. I want to really do an uploading a project as well. And just you know, sorting out my files, uploading at the right time. Just upload every single day. Uh, set my daily uploads for the rest of the year. After I set my daily uploads for the rest of the year, just continue fucking grinding my soul out. Keep making these MP3 videos. Any video I haven't uploaded, which I have uploaded all of them. Uh, I'll continue to fucking think. I could I have a I have a I, I, ideas list that I can refer to. Oh fuck, man! It's just uh, I apologize for swearing, but fuck, Jesus Christ, fluff, mother fluffer, dude. <laughs> it's so much work. Oh man, uh, I don't want to be like a fucking freaking face of hell about it, but like. It, like I, I look at my task list and like it, I know it shouldn't overwhelm me but there's like a hundred things to do and like I focus on one thing of course I choose one thing and I've been on one, the one thing for one project for a while out now like literally making fucking first man uh, YouTube shorts you guys probably won't be able to find me from that if you do then fair enough but like, I, like I've been making this first man YouTube shorts for like so fucking long so free, for freaking so fluffing long and mother fluffer dude is getting on my nerves like it's really, it really is. Like I'm, I'm tweaking out here, dog. Like Jesus, I don't know why I said, I, I don't know why I said that. Like, uh, bro. And I, I, w- I would not want it any other way. To be perfectly honest with you, I would not want to, you know, be playing video games like regularly. And I, do, I don't want to get my battle pass maxed out on Apex. And I'm, I'm level thirty four at the moment. Uh, I got sixty days, so I, I can just, I can just chill. Might play for like another hour or two tomorrow. It might play for like three hours. Uh, use my own gameplay for a uh, thing for YouTube Shorts. So I'm I'm a genius. So I use other other channels gameplay as well. But uh, I got enough gameplay. Like I don't I don't need to keep playing. I'm just coping when I say that. I need to get back to work. That's what I need to do. But like oh, it's just me. Oh, that's not. That's like it's just I'm frustrated. I don't have enough hours in the day to keep working. That's it. Like I work one hour, break, meditate, eat food. 20 minutes, back to work, one hour, 
work, 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 work. I'm not even. I should probably schedule it out. But I, I don't. I don't care. I don't know, who am I gonna talk to? I don't care. I don't, I, I'm a bit of an isolationist in the sense. I don't really talk to anyone. Maybe every so often I'll talk to someone. You know, my friend just called me at one a.m. You know Gerald before, like you know he ran away. I said it in a previous story, but like this, this guy called Gerald, I know his, oh, his name's not obviously real, not James not, or Gerald. I don't even know Gerald. But like Gerald, like I'm invited him to my boxing gym. He ran away like a coward, and like he's just a weird pussy. Like you know what I'm saying? He literally said I'm scared of going boxing. Like, no, I didn't tell you to spar. I didn't tell you to do this. I didn't tell you to do that. I just told you to punch a bag, skip. And you get your workout in. Like anyone tells you, oh, anyone tells you, are oh, you gonna compete? No, I just want to work out and I want to look good. Fair enough, mate. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it's just um... <sighs> Gerald contacted me again at one a.m. He called me at one a.m., which is an hour ago. I'm like, yeah, like I got, I got, my, I got very pissed. Honestly, felt my heart racing, felt my heart tightening up, felt like that cold, raspy feeling. You get off of like looking like like looking at somewhere like it's really tall and like you know fear of heights type shit. But then I just moved on, mate. I just cracked on and I told him like, "Hey, don't apologize to me. You know, you ran away. You were a coward. You were, you were a pussy, and you paid the price. You paid the price, mate. That's all I can say. You paid the price, and now it's done. No, and it's all done." Like, it's not it's not gonna come back. You're not gonna come back and, you know, become the champion of the world. You're not gonna come back and he has a guy to come last year with like literally man tits. I said I could get help him get rid of it because I had man tits as well. I was obese. Of course I of course I can help him get rid of it. I'm very well versed in the topic. Not to be like any weird or anything, but I am very well versed in the topic. Getting rid of a guy to come last year. I can help you. Take my help. No? Okay fine. Fuck it. I'll fluff it. Mother fluffer, dude. So, yeah, it's just, it's just work. I will not, I will not want to any other day, any other way. Like, I want to work. I want to get my project out there. I want to make money. I want to continue working. I want to stack cash. I want to have consistent cash flow. I want to stack, stack cash, stack, 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 stack. I want to stack so much, and then I can just do whatever I want. I want to save up and inv- and then invest, invest, invest. Uh, I could look towards long term. You know, CTFs. Long term hedge funds, long term index funds, maybe like stack cash right there. I could probably like put like ten grand, fifteen grand, fifty grand if I had the money, fifty grand in there. Let that bad boy do work for me, and then just like let that let that bad boy cook, keep stacking cash, you know, start to eat what I want to eat, and then when we go to Vietnam once or twice a year, Vietnam like a grand a ticket, eight hundred pounds a ticket if I'm lucky. Meet my grandparents, see my grandparents, see a lot of pictures. You know, go on holiday and just. Start appreciating life, life that way, but I want, for the most part, in these early years, you know, eighteen to twenty, twenty to twenty-five, boxing, working. That's what I want to do, really. I want, I want to make my professional professional debut if possible by twenty-three. I mean, eighteen to twenty-three. I want to be doing my amateur career. That's five years. That'd be wonderful. Five years, I could get like fifty fights, seventy fights. If that, that's very ambitious, but. If I reached my goal of 50 fights in total for my amateur career, I'd be very happy, man. Professional by 23. And I could slowly start fighting by then. Well, not slowly, but I just start fighting as much as I can. And by that time, making money off the business, working, going gym, working out every single day, four hours. You know, going, you know, after that, rest, recovery, meditation, lock in, ice bath, going back to normal YouTube work. More and more business work, creative directing work. At that point, I hope I would be more consulting work because that would be taking less of my time. I just talk, talk, talk for, and then you know my expertise will shine through. Yeah, that's it, mate. I don't know why I fucking uh, for fluffing. Jesus, I, I, dude. No more Jesus Christ. I would not like to say that, and no more swear words. Because I, I think it's not even because like. Not necessarily because, like, you know, family friendly, Nicky Faye, Nicky Faye. Uh, amazing, amazing. Nothing nothing of the sort. More like, I just don't like swearing. I think swearing carries negative energy. And, I, and you know them, you know them, uh, you know them crystal girls. They're like, yeah, no negative energy in my life. Uh, nah, 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 only positive energy. You know what I'm saying? They're slightly delusional. But I do think 
that their delusional beliefs benefit them more than, you know, pessimistic beliefs. You know, those those guys are like, humble yourself, humble yourself. Like, I'd rather be a bit more like no negative energy, more positive energy in my life, than, you know, humble myself and, you know, face the, the harsh reality. Just a little, just, I mean, obviously that that's always the case. But if 10%, 20% of me, 8 to 20, you know, the Plato principle, is like, yeah, look at the bright side. I would definitely take a look on the bright side. I would stand by that, by far. And I think that's a, it's a big thing. You know, it's a very, very big thing. Anyways, I would like to end the video here, 25 minutes in. You know, I yap, motherfucker, man. I'm on the fluffer, man. And I, I'm not going to say I yap. I'm going to say I spit my soul out on the internet. And people that are a bit more stupider, a bit more stupider complexion, nah, I'm taking a piss. I'm people that aren't as intelligent. No, I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking. It's, it's more like people that don't resonate with the message. People that aren't on self-improvement. People that think, you know, that I'm yapping are usually people that are just... Right, it's going to take me an insult, and I, I'm a genuinely mean this, but people that aren't as intelligent, they take what I say and what I speak from the bottom of my heart as yap. And you could say, yeah, bro's yapping. Leave your comment to boost me in the algorithm and go. Like, you'll forget about anything. I don't care. I, I, I see that probably told as well. I'll, I'll probably agree with you. I'll probably honest with you. Like, guys, finite time on this planet. Like, I'm not going to be tweaking over some mother fluffing YouTube comments. You know? Anyways, most of my comments are like fucking. Ah, uh, oh, damn it! I want that YouTube one. <laughs> Nick A thirty, amazing. Yeah, but yeah, that's that's what I want to say. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope it's a good one. Good luck at everything, bro. Bit of a weird mess. Many things to say, but good luck at everything. Keep grinding. I know some guys out here. I get a good consistent like, ten views on my videos. So. Some guys out here listening to my voice as a podcast, you know, big respect for listening to my videos. Big respect for ins insinuating, not insinuating, for, what is the word? Jesus. No, not Jesus. Oh, my. Uh, oh, my days. That's not good at all, because I'm coming. Ah, oh, what days? Oh, my. Oh, my. What the? What the? <laughs> fade. I watch too much fade, bro. I downloaded his videos to like what, put in my YouTube shorts and I unironically watch his videos and he is insane at Apex Legends. I'm nowhere near close. But yeah, let, let, let me reiterate myself. Big respect for trying to incorporate, incorporate the word, incorporate my ideology, ideology in your life. I don't doubt that as a result your life will become better. And I don't doubt that in the future when I'm a multi multi millionaire, I'll still be sitting here with my mic, with my Batman content, or my other gameplay, or whatever it is, and still be creating content. I might just put a picture on my face. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, best of luck with everything. Best of luck with everything, my friend. I wish you well. Big up to one of my Gs, one of my good friends from previously from a secondary school that lists my videos. He says, see, apparently, one of my other friends told him, one of my good friends told me that he lists my videos unironically as a podcast. I was like, wow, I'm making a change out here. And I'm going to continue to make a change. I'm going to continue to upload every single goddamn day. Did you pray today? And regardless of how I feel, it's, it's going to be like this. Like, I'm not going to hams out on you. Like, I don't feel like uploading. Nope. Upload, 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 upload. Ruthless, relentless. Edit, 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 edit. Ruthless, relentless. I want it, bro. I need the money. I need, I need, I need the attention. Not because, like, some attention validation thing. It's because it gives me money. Um, yeah. I love it. I'm joking. That's weird. I wish you best of luck on everything, my friend. Oh, voice crack. <clears throat> I wish... <laughs> I wish you best of luck with everything, my friend. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Live mediocre, die mediocre.